going? Welcome. Have you having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world? Today is the 15th of March 2022, so they say. And um, I hope you're having a fantastic day or week. Or I hope uh, life in the future, you're watching in the future, has improved. Okay, did this one, I, I, I got thinking, I'm going to share it because every time my daughter wears her Fitbit, she uh, comes up with like a little rash. And we looked into it a bit and was a bit surprised at what we found. I wear a Fitbit when I'm swimming and exercising to monitor um, my heart rate and my steps. I don't wear it all the time, um, but my daughter does and she gets a rash. So, does a, do you have a fit? Do you have a rash from a Fitbit? What you should know about Fitbit skin irritation. A Fitbit rash first made headlines back in 2014. There was a nationwide recall of the Force wearable fitness tracker due to some wearers developing a rash on their wrists. Today, many users continue to report rashes with the latest Fitbit line of fitness trackers and wearables. Most of these problems have been widely documented on forums, message boards and social media. Here, we'll uncover a dermatologist's point of view on what Fitbit rash is all about. What exactly causes Fitbit skin irritation? We believe that the rash most like people develop from wearing a Fitbit watch is likely a form of eczema, known as contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is a common skin condition that develops when your skin is in contact with an allergen or an irritant. Irritant contact, contact dermatitis. The form of dermatitis is the most common and is a result of the skin being injured by chemicals, environmental factors or friction. It occurs when an irritant damages the surface of the skin quicker than the skin can repair itself. Irritants actually remove moisture from the outer layer of the skin, which allows them to go deeper into the skin and cause inflammation. Irritants that are most likely to cause reaction are detergents, adhesives, plants, bleach, fertilizers and rubbing alcohol. As this relates to Fitbit, rashes may appear from soap becoming trapped between the wrist and the watch strap. If this happens frequently, skin irritation is very likely to occur. Keep in mind that the area where the watch is worn is a place where perfume is sprayed, a lotion is put on, and more. Contact dermatitis can happen any time there is consistent friction, pressure, and sweat between the skin and other items. Allergic contact dermatitis. If your skin is in contact with a substance and has an immune reaction, such as a rash, it's then likely allergic contact dermatitis. Some people are hypersensitive to certain materials, whereas others could be in contact with the same material and experience no issues. For people with allergy, the body recognizes the substance as a foreign material and releases cyclone psychotines. The psychotines activate the immune system and cause dermatitis within 8 to 72 hours after being exposed to the allergen. Common allergens include personal care products, formaldehyde, plants, poison ivy, ragweed pollen, sunscreens, antibiotic creams and nickel. See nickel is on the back of the Fitbit. A Fitbit rash may be an allergic response to allergens present in the materials of the watch itself. Some of those materials include leather dyes, metals and rubber accelerators. An exposure to any of these materials can cause a rash to appear in your wrist if you're more sensitive to the substance. However, nickel is the most likely culprit. An unknown nickel allergy. Nickel, which is found in several fitness trackers, could be the cause of some flare-ups. Many patients are not aware that they have a nickel allergy until they have had a long-term and or multiple exposures to the substance. The best way to under determine if a nickel is the culprit by undergoing a, a dimel, I can't say that word, sorry. I'll be out in a minute. I'll be out in a minute. I can't say that word, sorry. Uh, test, and if the dye turns pink, then that means the nickel is present in the skin. In addition, a patch test would need to be given to prove that the patient is actually allergic to nickel. If nickel is not present and the patient does not have an allergy, allergy to nickel, then we'd continue to rule out other possibilities. 
What are the signs and symptoms of a Fitbit rash? If you have a Fitbit skin irritation, you'll notably notice the following symptoms at the site. Swelling, burning, bumps and or blisters, red rash and scaly skin. We recommend that you book an appointment with a board certified dermatologist if the rash doesn't go away within a few weeks. However, you should visit a dermatologist as soon as possible if a rash appears suddenly and begins to spread all to other areas. If you notice oozing blisters and also have a fever, then you could potentially have an infection. If such is the case, you'll want to receive treatment right away. What should you do if you get a Fitbit rash? If you develop a rash, Fitbit recommends removing the device from your wrist for several days to see if the rash disappears. However, if the wearers decide to put the watch back on, the rash will likely return. For this reason, it would be best to treat the rash outright rather than have it come and go with Fitbit usage. How to prevent and heal a Fitbit rash. There are several actions you can take to prevent and treat a Fitbit flare-up. Please consider the recommendations below. 1. Keep your Fitbit clean. The best solution is to clean your device regularly, especially the band. Bacteria and trapped sweat are the common causes of rashes. Thoroughly cleaning and drying your Fitbit after sweating can keep your skin from developing an irritating rash. 2. Loosen or remove your Fitbit often. And that's my daughter's problem. She often wears it too tight. We recommend that you wear your tracker as loosely as possible. You should be able to move back and forth comfortably on your wrist. In addition, consider removing your band for 20 minutes each day. You can also sw switch your tracker from one wrist to another every so often. 3. Strengthen your moisture barrier. One of the most important steps you can take in both preventing and treating a Fitbit rash is protecting your skin's moisture barrier. The sanct Satrum cornum, which is the outmost layer of the epidermis, which is the skin, is supposed to keep moisture in and keep bad bacteria out. Look for moisturizers that include lipids, glycerin, and ceramides. These skin replenishing ingredients are vital to ma maintaining skin barrier integrity. Sorbaline is a good one. It, it really helps. Relieve itching. Hydrocortisone. Cream is a popular over-the-counter product for f reducing itching and inflammation. Scratching your skin damage to the skin barrier only makes it susceptible to infections. If you're wearing a Fitbit and it debris get underneath, uh, in addition to scratching, this can cause skin inflammation. Colomone lotion is another popular medication used to relieve itching and minor skin irritants. Consider putting this on before putting on your fitness watch. See, we don't have that much in Australia. I think it got changed or banned. I don't see it around anymore. Five, use a skin diary to track symptoms. The best way to determine the exact cause of your flare-up is to document it. Write down your symptoms the products you use with on an irritated area and if your skin improves or worsens in adjustments, pay attention and note if your rash includes a burning sensation or if it's just extremely itchy. The latter is likely an allergy and a former is an irritant. Bring your skin diary with you to your consultation so, so together they can properly diagnose and provide the right treatment for your Fitbit rash. If I visit a dermatologist, oh. I'd go to a doctor first. The only way to receive a def definitive diagnosis regarding the cause of your Fitbit rash is to speak with your dermatologist. If we believe that your skin irritation is due to an allergy, we can perform a patch test. A fungal scraping could also be done to ensure that the, it's not a fungal infection. Ir irritant contact dermatitis is relatively easy to diagnose and usually doesn't require any testing. We find that most rashes heal once the irritant is removed and proper treatment is applied. Possible treatments of Fitbit skin irritant. Both allergic and both allergenic and irritant contact dermatitis are typically treated with element creams and steroids. Element creams will relieve you of dry skin and are most effective when applied immediately after bathing. A potent tropical steroid may be prescribed 
if any other over-the-counter options have not completely cleared the rash. Additional treatment options may include antibiotics to treat the infection, oral steroids, usually for more severe cases, and phototherapy. If you've contacted a skin rash and an avid Fitbit user in Los Angeles, contact us here at BH Skin Dermatology. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's interesting. Do you get a rash when you wear these Fitbits? Um, just wanted to share this one. I'm not sure if people are aware of it. Um, I'm going to share something else about electricity and EMF and... Um, what's happened the last couple of hundred years since it was introduced so wherever you are in the world thank you for watching raise your vibrations much love be happy bye now thank you for watching like share subscribe if you like i appreciate that bye now